Here's a live look outside the Grand Rapids Art Museum where we're broadcasting live during our prize today and for the duration of this fantastic art competition. Oh man, you know, it's so exciting. There literally thousands of people milling around downtown Grand Rapids. It's Friday. Such a great energy, so much <laughs> excitement, so many street vendors, people walking around with their hot dogs and just having a great time soaking up downtown. It feels like Saturday. Oh yeah. I know, I think we skipped right from Thursday and we went into Saturday. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that I be a great thing to do every week? You know, that would be a really great thing to do every week <laughs> beyond our prize. You know, it's been interesting, Rachel. We've mm -hmm. been on the air. We're counting down to our two-year anniversary yeah. here on 8 West. And over the last couple of years, we've actually had the chance to meet a lot of wonderful musicians, move, those moving up the ladder to, mm -hmm. of course, those who are already household names, a couple that come to mind, Judy Collins. Right. What a nice lady. And, of course, the talents of Ambrosia. Yeah, we've had so many great people. Jim Brickman, the list mm -hmm. goes on. But recently, we got a very unique opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one with Michigan's own superstar Kid Rock Absolutely. he's really hot right now such a hot guy really kind of crossing the genres mm -hmm. of different kinds of music well he played a couple of weeks ago at the Allegan County Fair and he took a few minutes to talk to us before the show take a look all right, here on 8 West, we love to introduce you to cool people, and there's probably nobody cooler in the music industry or beyond than this guy right here, Kid Rock, at the Allegan County Fair from Saturday night. Thank you so much for agreeing to talk to us. You're welcome. Okay, I have to ask you, because I, the, looking at the crowd in the grandstands, there's people of all generations and all ages. I remember my first concert was Ronnie Millsap. Who was your first concert? It was Elton John, and uh, I think I was five years old, was maybe 19, when he played the Silverdome. My parents took all the kids, and I remember my dad was uh, pretty upset because they ran out of beer and we left early. <laughs> <laughs> so the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree? Yeah, I, I guess not. <laughs> Something like that. So for you, when you go on stage every night, do you view it as kind of a huge responsibility? This could be somebody's first concert that they ever get a chance to come to watching you? Yeah, you hear that a lot. It's um. And, and I have mixed feelings about it. Sometimes when you see the young kids out there, you know, some of the language, you know, and the concert gets a little racy, and I'm like, and then I see, sometimes I see the young kids, I'm like, oh, then why'd you bring your kid? <laughs> you know, it's, it's a kid rock it's, show. Right, so it's, you know, but at the same time, you know, I think if, if they brought their kids, that you know, they, they're not worried about a little language here and there. They, they know it's all celebration of music and having fun and, you know, making some people have a good time or whatever. So I think it's great, you know. Um, you, you never forget that. So what about the Allegan County Fair? Because I know you're used to huge stadiums. Of course, we saw, saw you rock it out at Lambeau Field, all over the country with you know, tens of thousands of people. But you come to a venue like this, what's the draw? What's the appeal? It's like a hometown show anywhere in Michigan. You know, and there's, there's not a lot of spots on the west side of the state where you can play outdoors. So when they contacted us, and you know, we thought about, you know, the booking age was kind of like, I don't think you want to do this one. I was like, wait, wait a second, let me tell me more about it. And I, kind of got the whole feel for it and I was like no nah, I think I would do that and plus we're going to introduce the beer to the west side of the state um that's you know uh, born right here in Michigan and made in Weberville Michigan on the, uh, uh, not far from here and um it just seemed like a win-win you know we'll kind of roll the beer out and go and play an outdoor show and this is kind of our last show you know big summer tour for this year I'm probably not going to tour a lot next year so it's it's a great way to end it you know being, being this close to home really exciting so tell me more about the uh, badass beer Madness Beer was started because um, one of the main reasons was I was uh, out of spite. <laughs> I was upset with uh, when I saw Anheuser Busch get sold like to the Belgians for like fifty billion dollars, and then Coors Light was gone. And I was like, man, you know, it's not even the point that they sold them, but they sold them at a time when this country really needed something, needed things like that to be proud of that we make here. And uh, I just said, you know what? I don't know. I don't know a lot about a lot of things, but I know about music and beer. That's right. <laughs> music, beer, and women. Yeah. So you know, yeah, they so, all kind of go hand in hand. Right. So it just made sense. You know, we've, we've created eight jobs, and uh, we're, we're going to create some more. And it's a lot of fun doing it. Of course, we'd like to make money at it, but you know, I've done I've done pretty good at the Kid Rock business. So it's more something for the state and for the country to just kind of get behind and feel proud of, and uh, you know, it's something that's ours. And it's all made in America. We get we some we get a little bit of hops sometimes from from. Canada. Canada, but other than that, everything's, you know, right here in a pocket. All American. Okay, I got to ask you about Ty Stone. Yeah. He is a great kid. We had him on our show, and just tell me about that connection and that kind of nurturing the younger talent. You know, it was just, uh, someone gave me his CD at a Pistons game, and I went back, and I'd actually listened to it, and I was like, I, I heard the, after the first song, I was like, no way, there's some trickery going on here or something, so I called him up, I was like, 
where you at? And he's like, in California, I got his number. I said, send him 500 bucks, come to Detroit. He came, and I was like, this kid's the real deal. And, um, you know, he's a little bit bigger of a kid. And just for that reason alone, a lot of record companies probably wouldn't give him a shot, which is sad. It's like, you know, it's... Can we go back to the 70s when music was great and everybody was ugly? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got a great voice. I don't think he's ugly. <laughs> he's big, you're right. I'm no trophy winner either, so, you know. So you're nurturing the next generation of music? A little bit. You know, I, just, I really don't want to run a record company stuff, but if I see, if I come across very talented people that aren't probably going to get a shot somewhere else, then that's something I tend to get behind. Fantastic. Well, we get behind you. Kid Rock from West Michigan to Michigan and now taking the beer all over the world. Isn't that great? Yes, ma'am. That's what we like. Man, oh man, it is so cool to see a person that has gotten mega famous, mm -hmm. worldwide attention, but has not failed. You know, he's yeah. so in touch with his roots. I mean, right. I've seen him at Pistons games. Yeah. You see him all over the place. And it's not gone to his head. Super nice guy. And I do have to give a special shout out to our friends over at uh, Fox 17. Our photographer got caught in traffic, and so they stepped up to the plate and uh, shot this interview for me, so thanks That's a lot, cool. guys. We totally owe you one. <laughs> yeah, we definitely do, but really cool story. Great yeah. opportunity. And it is wonderful, because I, I didn't really quite know what to expect, because he has become this just superstar, and he was so nice and so charming, so well-spoken, mm -hmm. and I just love the commitment. You know, very patriotic, of course. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the Allegan County Fair always happens uh, the first week and a half of September, and so y you talk about everybody really connected to the September 11th experience, mm -hmm. and uh, for, for Kid Rock to really be so patriotic, is so outspoken and um, so committed to really developing opportunities for, for real people for real people for young musicians yeah. like Ty Stone we were both so impressed with Ty when he performed on 8 West so it was a really great opportunity I was kind of bummed that you couldn't be there I know I loved his song Sweet Home Alabama it was one of the hits of the summer it was uh -huh. a chart topper oh yeah and of course what is he singing about Michigan yes of course. he loves Trying that staying true to the message talking so, about all really of his neat. great memories of all the time he spent up north yeah yeah, very, yeah, very nice. That. And so uh, we do have much more 8 West coming up. Yeah, we're so excited to be down here broadcasting we live. We're in, the, we're in the lounge area at the Graham, our 8 West broadcast studios. But we also have our uh, area out on the uh, the Graham Plaza. Rosa Park we're Circle. looking out of a Rosa Park Circle. And so many kids, there's just really, <laughs> there are buses coming in. Kids from all school districts across West Michigan right. <laughs> making their way into downtown Grand Rapids to uh, really experience what this amazing art contest is all about. Right. We have art prize people. We have business people who are on lunch kind of soaking in all of this. And I think it's a great mix of people. You can really feel alive. Yesterday we had a uh, visitor, one of the artists, saying, I want to live in Grand Rapids. <laughs> I told my husband, we need to move here. And that's, of course, what we like to hear because it's our little secret. We love yeah. this place. And uh, it's so fun to share this over yeah. the next two and a half weeks. Not a secret anymore. Stay with us. We'll be right back.